Hello, it's RLG here with another tutorial, and this time I'm going to teach you how to run Gary's Mod on um, Linux Ubuntu. Um, from my experience, it does not work properly on an, uh, a distro such as Linux Mint 16, or anything um, lower than that, like Linux Mint 14 or 15. I don't believe it works very well. It blacks out and has a lot of graphical issues, even though it says it's designed to work on Linux. But what they mean by that is it's designed to work on Ubuntu, the number one distribution of Linux. Um, so say you've downloaded, uh, you've bought Gary's Mod and you have it on your Steam, um, you've got it on your Steam uh, applications list, but you don't know basically how to install it on Linux because you have Linux and you've not tried it yet. So just follow my steps and you'll be fine. So, go into Steam, and, um, whoops, did not mean to do that. Uh, go to, um, Gary's Mod tab, and basically hit install, and as long as you're working on, um, Ubuntu, this should work fine, and, uh, I live in the middle of nowhere, so the network is pretty darn slow, but the network is much faster, uh, it's, it's, it's decent, and I downloaded it in about 45 minutes. Um, so after you've done that, I highly suggest closing all other programs, such as Firefox, if you have, um, applications open, um, try to close those off just to get better FPS, and, uh, then once you have the Gary's Mod, uh, installed completely, then you just double-click on the application icon that it's, um, settled on your desktop, and you should get the Steam notice preparing to launch Gary's Mod. That should go away after a few seconds. And then the screen should turn completely black. And then you should see this blue stuff. Um, it's almost a direct take um, off the Happy Wheels loading screen. Um, until it says Face Punch Studios and shows a loading bar. Instead of just a bunch of numbers plus a percent sign in the lower left hand corner. So now that Gary's Mod is on your computer and running properly, I'd highly suggest going into video settings, selecting advanced, disabling stuff like um, motion blur, backing off your field of view, um, uh, I would take the shatter, shadow um, and texture detail down to medium, just, um, and then set the water at simple reflections and put the shader on low because otherwise the shader will lag up your computer quite a bit. Now, um, just to give you a really good idea on performance, um, you should get about 60 FPS on Gary's Mod as long as you're running more than 4, gigab uh, four gigabytes or more of um, DDR2 RAM. Um, I'm actually running 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, so I should not have any issues with this, but I'm going to load up a relatively simple map here, one I've already loaded, so I don't have to worry about running into it, um, placing a bunch of files and loading them th when it's not loaded it before, and simply wait for the world to generate itself and load After a few seconds, it shouldn't take more than a minute, unless your computer is really, really, really cruddy, then it should take more than a minute. But you can have as low as 512 um, megabytes of DDR3 RAM, and it'll still run fine. But as you can see, Gary's Mod is uh, up and running now, and uh, the spawn menu works fine. I can spawn stuff if I... and I can lift it up, and... Well, I'm playing on a laptop, so it's not uh, quite as easy if I have a mouse plugged in. But, yep, yeah, all tools work fine. And um, same version that you would use on Windows. It's just compiled slightly differently to be able to work on Linux. So you shouldn't have to do anything um, special to get this uh, feature working. Steam should automatically tell the difference between operating systems and... Um, uh, make the decision whether to install the Linux version of the files or the Windows version of the files and as you can see I'm floating on a barrel and I can fall. Yay. <laughs> a lovely sound when you fall there so anyway yes that is how to run Gary's mod on Linux and um, I need to learn how to do that better. It's a very simple way to fly. <laughs> um, so yes follow these steps 
download Gary's Mod um, as if you were going to do it on Windows. And um, you should be fine. Um, hope this video has helped for you. I'm just going to hit quit there for a fast exit from the game. Come on, there we go. I hope this video helped you um, in terms of getting Gary's Mod running on both probably your Windows desktop that um, you use for work or gaming, depending on who you are, and then your Ubuntu laptop, which you probably use for traveling and um, <sighs> work. So please subscribe to my video channel and I will release some more tutorials.